Hello everyone and for this video we are going over the new staggered formation because I have some interesting well topics or some, some interesting news about it. Um, I've seen no other content creator talking about this formation but it is in my opinion one of the best formations in game actually mainly because of the farms. So if you want to know why this formation is so good stick around in this video and find out with me. So before we do the testing, I did not have, um, my alliance did not have Rapid March 2 level max, so I'm losing 10% March speed there, as well as with the alliance territory, we don't own a Sanctum of Wind, which gives an additional 5% March speed, and above all, we don't have the Cartography Tag level max, so we miss another 5%, so 20%. Um, less march speed as usual and here in this test you can see the march speed of infantry and this was before I discovered that I can actually do the museum buff here as well and then I have the museum buff of Atheflat with the museum buff of Julius Caesar oh this was with Caesar so with those two muse museum buffs it's so quick actually I have a bunch of March speed here, like 3%, 6% there, 9% here, some more in the talent tree, right? Here was 6%. Um, the first was 3 then we got like, I don't know, 12% in that tree as well. You can get some unit capacity. Uh, you can get some skill damage reduction, which is always good because you might get hit by AoE once you're reinforce reinforcing the structures, you know? So... At the flat with Julius Caesar will pretty much work with any um, troop type, right? Um, because it's universal march speed, not just for one troop. And uh, the staggered formation gives you an additional 15%. And on two of the four inscriptions, you can gain march speed for a certain troop type as well. So up to 7% march speed, um, which is insane. And... Let's not forget that there's also inscriptions, which gives a huge ton of extra march speed. So this is already quick, but it can become even quicker. Um, so th this whole thing is not because of a ray we want to race or something, but it's really important. If you're garrisoning a structure in KVK, filling with your farms, you want to be in that structure ASAP. You don't want to uh, wait too long or march too long because these farms are really weak. So we test with calves, it's even quicker of course. But these farms are really weak. You don't want to gain a lot of sebs because you need to farm resources mainly for your mains, right? Um, so you want to reduce the skill damage hit as, most, uh, as much as possible, right? So same with people hitting you. you, you just don't want it, you want to be quick. And the reason why I didn't use CC is because it's calves, usually calves only. And this tree actually doesn't contain that much march speed. And the march speed from leaving a structure is also on Ethelflaed. So I guess Ethelflaed with Julius is fine for now. It gives a 20, 35% march speed just from the museum. And in Talent Tree, there's also a lot of March Beats, so it's really well, um, it's really good. And I prefer that over um, this Cav Garrison, although if you reinforce, reinforce so what, what's going on? If you reinforce with Cavs, you might want to use CC because that might be a little bit quicker. Um, they didn't do the test on it. But this staggered formation makes you insanely quick. So let's take a look at the inscriptions. There's also like a bunch of inscriptions here. Um, while routed, you gain like 20 or 50% march speed, which is, well, not something that you really need. Um, but you can have like one of the other inscriptions, which has probably, the, the regular has like 5%. Uh, when troops trade skill, take skill damage by AOE, the damage is reduced by 30%, which is always nice. 30% skill damage reduction is insane uh, for AOE, so if you get hit by the rally, it's not such a big deal. Um, and there's also United Front, which gives you 5% less sev wounds. I don't know if it also has 5% less deads, I assume, but that might not be the case. It reminds of the line formation, 
you also have one inscription there that gives you 10% save wound reduction which is nuts if you have that um, if you have that inscription oh we have another one here um, unit capacity by 5% which is always nice for garrisoning or reinforcing not garrisoning um, so for the farms I think this formation is actually pretty dope it's quick it has in the legendary and epics or blue skills you have some nice um, inscriptions to reduce damage taken and stuff which is always good and it saves you a ton of resources as well yeah, yeah battle mana just showed that's 10 percent reduction so if your main has that uh, inscription just uh, go with line formation in field it's literally the best thing possible then only in that case you can gain a bunch of march speed on the other formation as well but i think Staggered formation gives more for farms because you only want to go in rallies and garrisons anyways, right? So how do you obtain obtain these um, armaments? Well, that kind of makes sense, right? I'm usually going for line formation, arch formation and staggered arch because I might get swarmed something just I want to deal the most damage as possible. You could argue you could use the hollow square as well to reduce less damage, but I'd, I'd rather want to deal more damage to my enemies. That's why I also have a city garrison on each farm. Uh, it's gonna be here uh, with a new commander, um, a new multi troop type garrison commander. It will take probably a year before that arrives, but that's fine. It's not maxed yet. So, so just do your traveling on the farms, get some coins, um, some coins, some what are they called? Armaments, and hope for inscriptions with march speed. It's always good. And then you're pretty pretty much good to go for KVK. It's um, I like the addition. I will probably use it on every farm with the museum buff. It's gonna help me out in garrisoning, helping uh, my kingdom, assisting in flags and such. And well, it will indeed reduce the hospital bill of mine. So that was the quick tip of today. It took like seven minutes. Staggered formation is meta for farms. So this was it for today. See you in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe and Yeah, I'll see you there and um, don't forget to join the live stream Sunday 15 UTC and join discord which is in the link below. Bye